Hey y'all, it's Chloe here. So I'm so sorry I have not been posting any videos lately. I have been super, super, super busy and I just have not been able to upload or edit any of my videos. So anywho, let's get started. So today's video, I'm simply going to be showing you two simple products that can help you with your dry scalp and or dry hair. So what you'll need is just simply a bowl You'll need the jojoba oil, which is a skincare oil treatment, and tea tree oil. What you'll want to do is just simply add those two together. It doesn't really matter how much. Um, I suggest a little bit more of the jojoba oil than the tea tree oil, just because the tea tree is quite strong. So in my opinion, just use a little bit more jojoba oil. So you're gonna just wanna put that you know, in the bowl, however much you want. And then you're gonna add a couple drops or so of the tea tree oil into the bowl as well. So there's like one, two, three, four, five or so. Um, I wanna get a decent amount. You can just add a couple. It doesn't matter how much you add. Um, I'm gonna add four to five drops just because. Um, now I'm gonna add a little bit more of the jojoba oil just because I added more drops than I wanted or needed to of the tea tree oil. So once those are together, you wanna to mix them together evenly, which are pretty easy to mix because they're both oils. And now you're just gonna to wanna to start massaging this into your scalp. And you're gonna to wanna to massage this in your scalp for 10 to 15 minutes. And then you're gonna rinse with lukewarm water to cold water. And then, you know, just a regular shower right after so since the jojoba oil is really good for your skin it's going to moisturize your scalp and get rid of all of that dryness and then the tea tree oil just also helps as well and it just enhances um, getting rid of that dandruff and dry scalp So if you wanted, you can also like put it in sections and just, you know, start doing that. So it gets, you know, more spots of your scalp. If you at least do it once a week, it should be really good for you and your hair and help the dryness of it. So I'm gonna flip my hair down so I can put some the end right here of my head. Okay. If you wanted to replace the jojoba oil with coconut oil, I'm sure that will work. Um, a lot of oils moisturize your scalp so it shouldn't be too harmful um, switching up the oils so that's always a good one to know um, another thing for dry scalp is do not uh, shampoo your hair every time you wash your hair just because shampoo is the one that creates the dryness of your scalp so try to just focus on washing your hair every other day or every 48 hours or like that would even help increase uh, your scalp to become less dry. I'm honestly gonna just pour the rest on my head because That's just what I do <laughs> when I have like hardly any left. I just dump whatever I have left into my hand and or my hair. Just put it all on there. So I don't know about you guys. I can already feel and tell a difference. Like, oh my gosh, like definitely re recommend this like for anybody. Or honestly, I recommend any dry, like, dry scalp remedy 
for anybody because dry scalp is a really like I'd say number one cause that people have is dry edgy scalps and nobody wants a dry edgy scalp. So now that you got most of it in your hair, you're gonna, I guess, sit for a couple minutes or so, just because you're supposed to massage that for 10 to 15 minutes. And then after you massage it, you can go ahead and rinse. But I like to wait a bit after I, you know, do a hair mask or a hair treatment. I like to wait a few minutes just before I wash it off because I feel like it gives me a better result if I wait just a little bit longer. And so how I usually um, wash my hair with when I have oil and stuff in it is I get in the shower, I turn the water on into like cold to lukewarm water. I sit under the shower head for like a few seconds, like 30 seconds to a minute, I'd say. So I, most of the oils can just kind of drain down onto my hair so I can get to the ends of my hair. And then after I do that, I just start with the sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. Um, and then I come out of the shower wrap it up in my microfiber towel. Definitely switch over to a microfiber towel because non-microfiber towels can make your hair brittle and dry. And do regular uh, dry hair treatments so your scalp will be itchy and dry. So thank you guys so much for watching. 